Why do you think it's gone cold? You said it were too many baths. They can't all be having baths. They're not the ancient Romans. Oh, hello, Mr. Carson. What brings you here? Cometh the hour, cometh the man. Meaning? I'm moving back into the house. His lordship has decided that we need a calm head in charge for the royal visit. What about Mr. Barrow? Uh, time to consider the greater good, Mrs. Patmore. Mr. Barrow is young, and as we all know, he's a bit flighty. He's younger than we are, but does that make him young and flighty? What about me? Am I young and flighty too? No. Pity. Now, what's this about the hot water? Has Mr. Barrow sent for a plumber? Not as far as I know. I rest my case. Now, I shall inspect the rooms, all of the rooms mind, and I shall see the proposed table settings, anything that might impinge on their majesty's comfort. And shall I fetch a bullwhip from the gun room? You look a bit glum. You'd be glum if you'd been told you were surplus to requirements. What's happened? The previous butler has come back to manage the royal invasion. He'll be sorry. The royal household sweeps all before it. <laughs> but if you've got some free time, we could have some fun. We could go into York. It's not much fun to be had in York. You'd be surprised. I grew up there. Why is Granny being so funny about this Lady Bagshaw? She's afraid she's going to leave a family estate away from the blood. Who were? Mm. Who's the lucky heir? No one knows. But I expect Granny will winkle it out before the visit's over. Oh, any news of my frock? I rang Madame Seymour's shop. They swore it would be here tomorrow. Don't let her hear you call it a shop. Atelier, Anna. The ball's on Friday, so we've got time. You could always borrow a dress from your mother. Oh, yes, yeah, so that's just how I want to look, as if I borrowed a dress from my mother. Lady Mary could find you something. Anna, what is it? I was looking for Lady Hexham, my lady. But can I ask you something odd? How intriguing. Could we go into the library and see if anything else is missing? You mean like the things from the drawing room? Well, I'm off. Where are you going? To the village. Tom, is everything all right? Why shouldn't it be? Well, I know the King of England is hardly your favourite character. What do you mean? The head of state is coming to Downton. Hurrah, say I. Bertie told Edith about that man. Well, they need to be sure of me, that's all. Who could blame them? Ah, Mrs Hughes. How thoughtful. In the midst of this turmoil. I'm sorry, Anna. It's all present and correct, as far as I can tell. Very good, milady. without a shotgun. Mr. Mosley, huh? what are you doing here? I've come to make sure of the state livery for tomorrow night. We haven't worn it for years, so I need to know that it's all there. Ooh, Britannia. We've got our own state livery. He meant for himself. Start making your way round to the front, orderly and quietly, please. I could feel my heart beating through my coat. <laughs> Kindly keep your cardiac malfunction to yourself, Mr. Mosley. What are you up to, Miss Lawton? Final adjustments. What's that? It's a ball dress for Lady Hexham. Just in time. I've been thinking. Yes? Our bed and breakfast hotel. Could it be in Downton Village? But most of the houses are owned by the estate. There are some that aren't, and that way we'll never lose touch. With Lady Mary? With the Abbey and all who live in it. 
We could even run it from here, if we want. What do you say? That your wish shall be my command. <laughs> Someone might come in. Let them. Let them see what true love looks like. Let them see what true love is.